Now I've been using Xiaomi's AirDots Pro 2 for a week now and I'm gonna let you know my thoughts on whether you should buy them. Hello and welcome to the Barrett channel where I'm going to be reviewing and telling you my opinions on Xiaomi's AirDots Pro 2 after using them for a week. Uh, this is a follow-up video on the previous one that was done a week ago of my first impressions and unboxing of that. So what I will do is pop a link up here if you wanna watch that first and then you can come back to this video to check out how they are. So i just start off by saying this is not a sponsored video uh, because last week I did go and pick up both versions of these AirDots. Uh, the originals were 359 yuan and the Pro 2 were 399 yuan which uh, translates to 53 and 55 dollars respectively. But what I did do is I know the second version aren't actually available outside of China yet so what I've done is fished out a couple of links that I'll put in the description below. Uh, they are affiliate links so it will be a contribution to the channel if you purchase through those but you'll be able to pick these up if you do wish to do so. So um, but this is also going to be an unbiased review. I've been using these for a week now, so I'm going to give you my true thoughts on how they actually are and the problems that I've had with them and what I think is good about them. So I have both versions of these uh, because actually my, my dad prefers the ones with the uh, rubber ear cups on, uh, whereas they've actually gotten rid of that on the AirDots Pro 2, as you can see. So if you are somebody who prefers the uh, rubber cup, uh, because it does give you a bit of more a bit more of a solid uh, feel on the inside of your ear. So if you are a fan of that, then uh, you're not gonna be wanting to switch over to the AirDots Pro 2 because they have gotten rid of that. Uh, so I've got both versions of these and I'll just start off by giving you a couple of comparisons on, uh, on the two. So one thing that I've found with the revised version is that the sound quality is somewhat better. The, the, the bass on them is much better. The high tones on them is much better. However, you are going to sacrifice a bit of volume for that. Um, I'm not too sure how I feel about that because I do like to listen to my music quite loud and I did definitely feel that the originals are quite a bit louder whereas the, the sound quality isn't quite the same. So you are definitely going to be sa sacrificing a bit of volume for a little bit better sound quality if you do choose to get the AirDots Pro 2. One thing that I like that they've done with the, the revised version is the case is actually much different. As you can see here, uh, it's much less boxy like the original one was. It actually looks a lot slicker as well. They've gone for very curved edges. Um, they were able to do that because the, the shape of the earbuds is actually much different. It's much uh, shorter actually so they were able to make the case a lot thinner and reason in that I like that is because it can fit much flatter to your leg and it feels a lot less bulky in your pocket so I'm a fan of that change you get an, an extra four hours battery life um, out of the case on the AirDots Pro 2 uh, which is 14 hours as opposed to 10 hours on the original as well as each earbud is four instead of three so obvious uh, battery upgrades which is obviously everybody likes okay now we're going to move on to strictly talking about the airpods pro 2 so i've been using these for a week now so i've got a bit of a gauge as to uh, the, the pros and cons that i'm now feeling with this product there's definitely a few of both um, i won't say that they're perfect uh, they've definitely got their downfalls but uh, i am enjoying them overall i'll start off with the good things so the sound quality is, is very nice. I'm impressed with the sound quality overall. As I said before, they aren't as loud as I would like them to be. Uh, they are a little more quiet. However, the sound isolation is very good. So you're, you're kind of in your own little bubble and you do, I find that I only, I can really concentrate and listen to what's coming through my earphones. Like if I'm listening to a podcast, for example, and I'm in a crowded place, I can, very much focus in on what I'm listening to. I've not had any problems with the charging. I've not run out of charge at any time that I've been out using them. And I've been out for quite long days a couple of times and I've not run into any, any problems with the charging at all. So every time you put them back in the case, they're gonna charge back up to their four hours. I think from a dead battery, it's about 60 minute charge to, to put them up to full, which is a fairly long time, um, however, I've not had them run out on me once yet, so that's not been a problem at all. I got asked a few times in the comments before about the, the microphone quality and, uh, and how that is when you're on a call with somebody. Again, I've, never ha I've not had any problems with that. Um, 
I've been on buses, crowded buses, and in quite crowded places on the phone to people, and they've not said that they're struggling to hear me at all. And I've listened to a few uh, voice messages back to myself to listen how it is, and it really does focus in on your voice other than the the surrounding voices, which is quite good. I did mention on the unboxing as well that these do come with the uh, Xiao AI, but that's only in Mandarin. So unfortunately, if you can't speak Mandarin, you're not gonna be able to use that function. And first impressions, I thought that you were only able to use that. However, after using it for a week, when you double tap the left earphone or on voice command, um, you can activate any assistant that's active on your device. So for me, it's the uh, Google Assistant. So when I tap the left earphone, it's going to activate the Google Assistant, so that's something that you might be happy about. I've not actually tried it on an iPhone, um, but I'm sure it would activate Siri, but I wouldn't be able to clarify that as I've not got an iPhone to test that on. Now I'm going to move on to some of the uh, more negative uh, aspects of these earphones. And the first one is going to be a big one for me actually, because I'm somebody you often... I'll walk around and I'll sing the song that I'm uh, listening to, and I've found that the, the song keeps changing. At first, I didn't quite know what was going on, but I've realized that it's actually the voice command. And I'm not actually aware of what the voice command is because it must be in Chinese. Um, but I've, I've noticed that with a lot of things that I'm saying, even sometimes when I'm having a conversation with someone, it's changed the song or um, gone to the previous song. And it, has, it, it is quite annoying sometimes, I must admit. And at the moment, I'm not aware of any way that you can turn that off. Um, it's possible that they're gonna release some software in the future that you can link up to your phone and change some settings on the device. Uh, however, that's not available yet, so we'll have to wait and see. And I can only hope that that is the case uh, because at the moment, I'm kind of having to stay a bit silent. The second one, which was a popular question on my previous video is if there is a delay when you are listening to a video uh, via Bluetooth to your phone. And that was the case with the originals. There was, there was a bit of the delay and I can confirm that there is also a bit of a delay on these, which is unfortunate. It's very slight. However, when you're, when you're looking at people speak, it's quite obvious that there is a bit, of a, a bit of a delay in what you're seeing and what you're hearing. Each earphone does actually have its own Bluetooth connection. And I did actually experience one or two times uh, a, bit of, a bit of mismatch between the two. One was a little bit in front of the other. And I just had a little bit of latency issue uh, a couple of times. Um, not many, I've used these for a lot of hours and I really haven't experienced that many times. Uh, however, it has happened. It was a quick fix though, but one time I did have to put them back into the case, reconnect them up, and, and they were fine. A selling point with these AirDots Pro 2 as well, that you were going to be able to connect them up to your phone with the uh, codec of low latency high definition, which is the LHDC codec. However, on my Galaxy S8, which is only a couple of years old, they don't actually have that available. And the only Xiaomi phone that has that available is the Mi 9 Pro. Um, so if your phone doesn't come with that, option then you're not going to be able to uh, get the optimized uh, settings on this device so maybe maybe they would be very improved the sound would be uh, much more improved if i were able to use that codec but that is not the case unfortunately so um, until i upgrade my phone i'm not going to be able to uh, to experience what that's like all in all though i would say that i'm pretty satisfied with these there's no regrets in buying them at all they are my first pair of in-ear earbuds and i'm pretty happy with them to be honest um, one thing I do hope is that they do come out with a software update in future that does allow me to turn off the voice recognition and just so you know the voice that the song isn't changing when I'm walking around singing uh, that would be that would be good so if that did come out in the future I mean at $55 that's really not a bank breaker so I don't feel like if you pick these up that you're going to be too dissatisfied if, if I'm if I'm honest um, but that depends, you know, how much you're willing on paying, uh, how much you're willing to pay for them because some other versions that might be a little bit better, might be a little more, more attuned to what you need, um, but they are gonna come at a price. They are gonna become a, a very premium price. So overall, I'm pretty happy with these. That does bring me to the end of this video. So please make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy it because, uh, you know, this is my first review uh, so hopefully you did enjoy and if you do have any more 
uh, questions, hopefully I've covered them all. But if you do have any more questions, drop them down in the comments and I'll answer you as soon as possible. As I said before, there'll be a link down below as to where you can purchase these, as well as a link down below to the unboxing and first impressions that I did last week. And uh, as always, until next time, bye-bye.